Hi, my name is Greta Francesca Iori, and I work with the 21 African member states who make up the Elephant Protection Initiative. Today, we're in my home country, in the Babile Elephant Sanctuary, found in Eastern Ethiopia. We're here because the Babile Sanctuary is facing severe human-elephant conflict, which is compromising the viability of the elephant survival, as well as the livelihood of the people. We are here, some 500 kilometers east of Addis Ababa, because the sanctuary is on the verge of collapse. The survival of the few remaining elephants, as well as the livelihoods of my fellow people, are under grave threat. There is unprecedented human-elephant conflict. Babile's unique landscape makes up 7,000 kilometers of the extensive Somali Maasai biome. Elephants once freely roamed here. Today, they're restricted to a few tiny pockets of land, the last remnants of the Somali elephant race, Africa's most northeastern elephants. The elephant's habitat suffers from devastating fragmentation and destruction caused by ethnic divisions, lack of governance, and climate change. It is a harsh environment where elephants, people, and their livestock compete for water, land, and survival every single day. Protected areas in Ethiopia generate little to no significant benefits for local communities, but they are often nature and wildlife's only lifeline in a vastness of threats. Babile's elephants have lost more than three quarters of their land, taken over by farms, roads, and factories. One one Hawasa or Jimmy Hawasa Mamia Yuru Amo or Re Sanegu by ye one must as the one Tikasif Warani Dabaramevi Sirit Egum Gorbat. It does at the age. Babile urgently needs effective land use planning, more resources, and high level government intervention. Mafia Ungri in the Nepone, Mangus Zilai, Masrat and Lebet Yagamita. Lemon, and then Bedumba Argoto Kazi, Masrat Fachal Mangus, and Yamrasachina, and the Munmut, the Gidanian. Short term solutions, fences, or watchtowers can buy us time, but they're not enough. We must find a path to prosperity and coexistence for people and elephants, not one at the expense of the other. The wildlife authorities and rangers are demoralized and feel abandoned. Limited capacity and poor performance at all levels. That means the number of scouts, the number of workers, even the budget is so limited. The main gap to save elephant sanctuary is lack of political commitment from government side. But local people also pay the price for this neglect. They need peace and land. The stories we've heard here are heartbreaking because they're the realities of the people who live alongside these elephants. There are no simple solutions. 
extreme poverty, lack of governance at large, ethnic divisions are pushing elephants and people into extremes. One thing is for sure, we can't simply focus only on the technical conservation solutions to this challenge. We're going to have to center the social, political, cultural, economic realities of the people who live here. And only then will we be able to save this landscape, our wildlife, and protect the rights of our people.